Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we are going to take an overview look at what is in our circuits bundle on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you're looking at what you should teach as you're doing circuits or need some extra help and thinking of ideas, um, definitely check us out because we have this bundle. It's available at the link at the bottom of the video. And so I just want to walk you through what's sort of included in it. There's lots and lots and lots of activities. One of these is a circuit search, which is really fun. It encourages kids to get up and move around the room, write down where they see circuits at, and then also determine what kind of circuit is that. Is it a circuit that creates light, a circuit that creates motion, a circuit that creates heat, a circuit that creates sound? And they have this ability to either use little dot stickers, if you want to give them stickers to kind of track that, they can color it in as they go, and they'll get this great graphical component on how many circuits did we find in the room that had heat, or how many did I find that made light? And then you can regroup as a classroom and you can go over and make one big graph chart, see even how many people said, oh, the light up there is a circuit. And it really encourages them to think creativity, uh, creatively because, you know, the first thing you're going to say is, okay, the room lights, the computer, maybe the heater, maybe the intercom. But then after that, what circuits do you see? Do you see the circuits that are in your calculators or in flashlights? So it really encourages them to think deeply about these circuits and it gives them a way to chart what they find and graph what they find, which is great. Um, we also have a fun activity that uses some Play-Doh, a battery, and LEDs. And it, you try to light up the LED by connecting your circuit with a whole bunch of different items. And the first part is just them forming a hypothesis where they'll guess what they do and then they get to do the experiment and record what they do, which gives you the chance to go back later and see was there anything surprising or not surprising that happened. Another activity is looking at what makes a battery. For example, why do little coin cell batteries light up an LED, whereas a quarter doesn't or a nickel doesn't? So it lets them also make a Venn diagram of those items to look at sort of the overlap between them. There's an obstacle course, which is probably one of my favorite activities in like that I maybe have ever created and in this activity your students become electrons in a circuit and you set it up around the room you need some cones and maybe some hurdles if you want a light bulb but they go through a circuit that has a start and a stop point or your battery and they'll go through the cones in a zigzag motion it will slow them down like a resistor slows you down, and it will also map out what electrical engineers use to draw resistors. Then they can go jumping over these hurdles, and when incandescent light bulbs, like the one that's likely in your room, as long as it's not an LED, the way that we make light is it excites electrons up into a new level, like the jumping up part, and then when they come back down to the ground state, when they come back down to the ground, they get lit up. And that's what makes it light. If they were like an LED, you would want it to slide. So LEDs are kind of like they slide into holes. And the nice thing about the slide analogy is LEDs are what we call one-way streets. So you can't go up the slide. You can only go down the slide. So if you have a unit that you're going to be using LEDs in, it helps them see sort of in their head why the direction of that LED matters. So that's another fun thing that we have. Um, Another fun activity in there. And then we also have circuit drawings where they learn and practice how to draw parts to a circuit. They draw their own circuits. There's some space for them to look at that. Um, we have matching words you know, to images, to pictures of those images so they can build their vocabulary about what they're working with. Um, so we have a few activities that works on building vocabulary. We have a fun memory game that, you know, pairs of students, you can print out a few sheets of these, they'll cut them out and they'll try to play a memory game. And the nice thing here is it's not you're matching the picture of two LEDs to the identical picture of two LEDs. You could match this picture of two LEDs to the circuit drawing of the LEDs or to the word LED. Same thing, like I could match the switch, here's a switch, but I could match it this way, and I could match it with the word switch. So there's all these different ways that students can get through this memory game, making those connections from what does it look like when I draw it versus what does it look like when I see the item and how do I call that item. 
Um, we have another activity that's called Circuits Everywhere, where they are challenged kind of like that circuit search. They're challenged to find circuits in their house, in their car, in their backpacks, um, in their clothes. Clothes have circuits all the time nowadays. We have some vocabulary building exercises, and we even have um, some matching, circling what circuits will work and not. We have a unit quiz in here, which is great if you want to sort of test the knowledge. And then, of course, we have keys for everything um, that we do. So it gives you, there's some notes and messages to you as teachers to give you ideas of things you can point out, things that you should talk about, um, troubleshooting tips that you might notice, so ideas on how to populate those tables of where you'd find circuits. And then we have a prep section, which has um, full, sort of full written out lesson plans. And for our circuits, we have this fun additional feature that in addition to these lesson plans, for each lesson plan, we actually have some very fun, simple, easy to print exit cards if you want to give those to your students as a sort of quick little assessment. So that gives you a breakdown of what's in our circuits unit. We also have a circuits worksheets download, and that one's free on Teachers Pay Teachers, so you can add to this really easily. We'll be coming out with a circuits lab that's going to have some fun comic strips and great ideas on how to make making these circuits really fun and engaging for the kids. So I am so excited to have this circuits lab up and running. Again, it's on Teachers Pay Teachers. You can download it at the link below. Make sure to follow us on Teachers Pay Teachers and on Instagram to see what sorts of fun things that we have been cooking up in our Rosie Research Labs with everybody. Thank you for joining us.